Hi, I'm Donald Doherty. Welcome to Shooting Silhouettes and thank you so much for joining us from all around the world here at Engage Live. This is going to be a super, super short lesson on how to shoot silhouettes. Um, so I'm excited to dive right in and, and start uh, showing you guys exactly what I do. Okay, so here's our first step. I'm going to show you guys how to shoot uh, a silhouette. We've got a really, really cool looking door here, which could be a church door or, or if you're doing an engagement session, you could find a kind of an interesting door like this. Uh, we've got Paul and Victoria that are, that are going to be our models for this little section. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get you guys to kind of face together, face towards each other, all right? Okay. In regards to the settings, I usually tend to shoot in aperture priority. Um, so we're still going to shoot wide open uh, at 2.8. This is the 5D13 and the 24-70 lens. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my ISO right down to 100. Um, and then I'm going to use exposure compensation to actually turn that right down to the bottom. Now, uh, in order to shoot this image, you really need to be at a kind of a low angle. So, I'm going to lie down here and uh, just face towards the door. Um, I'm going to change my focal point so that uh, I've, I've got Victoria and Paul on the focal point there, okay? And I'm just going to take that shot. Perfect. So, as you can see on screen, um, you get a really good idea for what, what that silhouette looks like. So, I mean, it's really, really, really simple. Uh, it couldn't be any more simple, really. Um, just put your ISO down to 100, turn your exposure compensation the whole way down, um, and, and that works a treat. Okay, so it's pretty cold out here, and I know our, our models are absolutely freezing, um, but we're working away with it anyway. Um, if you've seen in the last uh, video where I did the off-camera flash, in between the off-camera flash shots, or if you turn your off-camera flash off, using the same settings, you're able to achieve a gorgeous silhouette. So, in regards to the settings for um, shooting silhouettes out here, um, I'm going to turn it down to 100 ISO, and I'm going to turn my exposure compensation right down as well. So, again, we have uh, the guys over here, Victoria and Paul, um, and they're ready to, uh, to model for us. Some, some things, really, that you need to think about a lot are, if we have them um, facing together, uh, make sure not to, for them not to be kissing because you don't want them to kind of merge into one big blob on the on the screen. So it's important that we have um, it's important that we have a little bit of space between them in order that their outline against the sky is going to be very distinct. So Paul and Victoria, just look towards each other, okay? So great. So the couple are just going to look towards each other. I'm going to get down low again because I want to get them silhouetted against the sky. Let's do that. I'm just going to turn my ISO actually up. A little bit here to 400 because it's starting to get a little bit dark out here. Great! Oh wow, we've got an amazing silhouette of these guys. Okay, so I'm going to zoom right in. So at the moment, I'm still using the 5D Mark III. Uh, this time, I've got the 7 to 200 because I'm quite a bit a bit away from them. Okay, so that's that's quite a nice shot when they're um, when they're actually just looking at each other. Well, what I can actually see here with the with the couple is. Um, but because what we've got here today is we've got this like beautiful sunny patch here and then we've got the darker sky so we want to make sure that they're on that nice kind of sunny patch so I'm coming up a little bit higher I want to do that okay so hey Victoria and Paul just look towards each other for a sec okay look towards one another gorgeous okay so we just need to focus on these guys okay beautiful Okay, so you know what, uh, Victoria, um, why don't you guys lean your foreheads together, okay? So lean your foreheads together. <laughs> Beautiful. So, you know what, can you turn this way? Turn yourselves this way a wee bit. Yeah, yeah just slightly, perfect. Cool, and lean your foreheads together. And the cool thing about this, um, if you've got your client and they're kind of around about the same height, this actually looks a little bit like a heart as well, which, is, which can be really beautiful um, also, so. Okay, great. So we've got we've got some really interesting uh, interesting stuff there. Um, it'd be great to get your uh, to get your subject hired to try some other stuff out as well. So if you guys if you guys can uh, face towards me and just hold hold one hand together like this, just face straight on, and then split split apart a little bit. So split yourselves apart. So get a little shot of this now. Perfect. Okay. And hey guys, look towards each other. Beautiful. So again, just just a, just kind of an, uh, adds a bit of interest. 
having no standing like that. So again, we'll share with you on the screen the images that we shot during this session so you can get a really good good idea. So here's the settings I ended up on. I had 400 ISO. Um, my uh, aperture was 2.8 and I just turned my exposure compensation right down. Um, so really, really, um, really simple uh, and an easy way to do it and you get some fantastic shots. Okay, so I'm actually in Lightroom right now and I'm excited to show you um, just some post-processing thoughts um, around working with silhouettes um, afterwards in uh, Lightroom. So first of all, if we look at this, um, this image that we shot uh, at the door there, um, and first of all, I'm going to apply Fuji 160 across all of these images. So into develop settings in Lightroom and VSEO film and I really, really like this Fuji 160. So apply that across all the images. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is straighten the uh, the image. Now obviously, um, we shot this in the door of 8081 where, where we're based here. And something you really gotta think about is um, how perspectives will shift as you are at a low angle. So you can see here that the doors aren't exactly um, in, in the right kind of way if I, uh, if I try to line it up the top of the door. But typically, um, I do find that the top of the door works works fairly good. Um, I'm just going to raise uh, raise this up for a little sec. Okay, cool. Um, so essentially, there's a couple of choices available to us right now. Um, you know, you could possibly retouch out this top bit. Obviously, if you're shooting in a church, often um, you don't have you know an exit sign over the door like that. Um, so we could cut that out possibly. Um, you could make a creative choice just to. Um, to crop these guys like this if you decide that that's that's more what you're you're kind of after um, and you got something along those lines but what I'm gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna crop but I'm just gonna crop out this top section for now um, and take it from actually if I do that I don't have to crop the rest of them uh, let's center that a little bit and make it a little bit wider actually and I think that's about right. Okay, cool. Um, and also, actually, now that we've done that, I might straighten these guys a little bit uh, like that. So um, that's just an idea of how you do it um, in regards to a, a door. Um, if you check out the adjustment brush over here, and some of you may have seen this in the off-camera flash video, um, some of the things that I want to work with here are exposure. Um, and, and that typically... Um, is, is a good way to to really kind of darken down some of these areas here so i'm going to turn that exposure down to the down to the bottom um, and then i'm just going to paint in um, kind of a darker area here really uh, to really darken down some of this kind of distractive distracting stuff that's that's kind of going on distractive i think that's a new word i created but a uh, distracting thing that's going on here again you might decide that you want to just kind of take them them out all together and kind of darken down um, this whole area um, again you could do well actually uh, I'm gonna undo that in a little sec but you know you could go in there and really really take out a lot of what's there um, you know perhaps it looks a little bit strange with them kind of cut off like that but uh, you get the get the concept anyway of of, um, of using this adjustment brush to really darken down the other stuff that's in that's in the image there um, you know, negative space is okay as well. You know, I don't mind having some negative space in the image. So uh, something like that is, is actually quite interesting. Uh, and then, as I say, you may decide that you just want to crop crop that out altogether and just, uh, you know, create something like this, uh, which is probably going to look pretty interesting and cool. Um, again, you could probably touch that up a little. Um, so that's the kind of idea for the door shot. So use your brush, brush adjustment brush uh, to actually adjust the image. Okay, so here's a gorgeous silhouette that we shot um, against the skyline. Um, again, the key things are it's gonna, you want to kind of bring it up as, as much as you can so that the, the sky has a little bit of a pop to it. Um, but again, it's, it's trying to keep in mind that you still want these guys to be dark. Um, again, like we did Previously, you can use the adjustment brush to really paint the color into the sky. I mean, this is actually the color it was, so I'm not sure that it really needs it needs much. And um, this time, I'm going to use the saturation slider, uh, bump that up slightly, um, and I just know that if we uh, if we paint some of this into the uh, to the sky here, it's going to be kind of unreal, right? I mean, the thing is as well, I really want to say that you don't want to take it too far because you don't want the sky to look mental, like you know, like the sky never looks. Um, but you know that's that, that's pretty beautiful actually 
Um, just kind of uh, a thought here. Um, you know, you can definitely get involved in some kind of interesting, um, interesting crops. Um, so, you know, things like this, like I love um, cropping images like this. Um, actually, when you do that, you realize that that image is not 100% straight. So just straighten it against uh, that. Um, and, you know, something like that is just, uh, something like that is just gorgeous, you know. So um, just think about the choices that you, uh, the choices that you make around that. But again, you may want to extend that out a little bit. Um, but it's always key to think about rule of thirds. And um, there we go. Cool. Um, so that's kind of beautiful, right? Um, over to this one, again, you know, just, just uh, it's really important to um, make sure that their heads are not touching, that they have the space so that you can really see their features here. Um, and this, this couple, they just have gorgeous, uh, gorgeous features. And so if we do that real quick, um, I mean, the sky is, is, is so beautiful here. It's just unreal. Um, There we go. So I mean, I'm not going to have to do too much to that at all, actually. Um, and again, with this one, I mean, it's beautiful with their with their heads together. Again, just don't take it uh, take it too far there with that. Let's just click in here real quick and and look at some of the saturation and see what we can do here. I mean, this just looks so so beautiful. Um, again, you may decide like like we did last time to consider. Um, cropping the image um, but you know this one I don't mind this one I, I think it, it looks it looks pretty beautiful anyways um, think of different ways that you can make them stand I mean it would be great if this bottom area of the image was actually just um, they were on top of a hill and the whole sky was um, was like that and was behind them because you can really get a cool outline so it doesn't always have to be the couple standing there looking towards one another you know you can also do something like this which uh, which looks kind of interesting. I'm going to bring that right up there just to kind of see, show you guys what they're actually doing. Um, and I mean, that looks that looks fantastic. So again, guys, think about when you're shooting, um, you're going to end up with these, these beautiful, beautiful images. And it's really, really simple to capture. Just turn down your exposure compensation, you know, darken your subject and uh, place them against the sky like this and it can look stunning. Um, and when you come into editing, you know, like to reiter to reiterate, if you need to go into the exposure uh, and on your adjustment brush and kind of darken everything down, you know, you can definitely do that and remove some of these kind of distracting things that are here. Um, and then into your uh, yeah, so you can remove some of the detail there. And obviously, as I mentioned, you can paint in your sky. Um, so that's a little bit of a look at those images. I know that uh, the couple is going to be delighted with those. Um, and hopefully you guys can really uh, integrate those ideas into your post-processing um, and, and into your um, into your shooting um, to create really incredible shots uh, that are so easy to take and which are just going to be adored by your clients.